and I was sitting like this for hours, you know, hours, just like this, you know, crying, and it was such a low, I was so high for a month, you know, this is what we're going to do, and I was such a low. It was the scare. it was exactly 30 days, I didn't sleep, you should have seen my videos, my stories, I look back, I was, my eyes were dark, I didn't sleep. Luke used to, he was worried about me, you know, we were best friends, he had just moved in. He would come into the room, he's like, are you okay? Have you eaten? You know, I was, I was not in a good place. But then one day, you know, I, I was doing a live. I think it was like the third live I've ever done. And I think people were saying like, oh, come here, come to this city. We, you know, please come here. When I wasn't traveling, they were just saying, come here. And I said, maybe I will. And when, maybe I'll pack up the dogs uh, in an RV and come meet you. And I said it on a live and it just, it hit me. And that was it. And I had all this energy and we immediately started the Kickstarter. Hi everyone, Lee Asher here. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this far. We are going to get 48 dogs rescued in 48 states. We're going to be traveling through them, hiking, camping, promoting animal rescue, while bringing you the adventure book of a lifetime. The Kickstarter was 30 days or 34 days and three days before the end of the Kickstarter, three days before the end, I'll never forget. I, I didn't think, you know, I didn't have the money for it. We'd only raised like $30,000. We were so far off, it wasn't possible. I was sitting on a curb. I was sitting on, a, on, a, on the sidewalk on a curb and I was sitting like this and I, I called my mentor. I've never asked him for anything. I called my mentor. And I, 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 I asked him for money. I asked him if I could borrow some money. I said I'd put my car in it. Penny. I said I'd put my car in his name. I, I, I said I would do all these different things. I'd sell this. I'd sell that. It was just such a sad moment. I felt so alone. I felt like I had let my dogs down. I let Luke down. I, I, I just felt it was so bad. And I just sat there and I was crying. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I just got this emotion like... It's not over. It's not over. I kept saying, it's not over. It's not over. And I, was, I just kept saying, like, like I, I said, it's not over. I said, not today. And I said, not today. And I just, like, it was almost like an affirmation. I kept saying it. I got on the phone. I called every company you can imagine. I called PetSmart, Petco, Pet Supermarket, Chewy, The Ellen Show. I was calling everyone all day long, calling, calling, telling about the Kickstarter. Nobody responded. And then I got on the phone with Best Bully Sticks. She called me back and she's like, tell me your idea. And I told her the idea and I said I'd put Best Bully Sticks on there. And she did it. She gave us a $20,000 sponsorship, which, which completed the Kickstarter. The way Kickstarter works, guys, if you, let's say you have a $50,000 goal, if you raise $30,000, you don't get any of it. You have, to, you have to complete the goal to get the funds. And she completed the goal for us and it put us on the road. At each meet and greet we do, we're gonna also have a pet adoption. So the pet adoption will have many dogs available for adoption because each meet and greet will be at an animal shelter filled with dogs. Our first two events, I would be out here. We would have the, the fence up and people would meet the dogs from the fence, but it was almost like a petting zoo. And both times, Stella and Lily, it was the only time they really got into it. It didn't feel right, and it didn't work. And that, that created the events inside the RV, right? Obviously very pre-COVID, but we were all, you know, 15, 20 people sometimes. I always said only 10, but only, we would always cram it. And it was beautiful. We'd all be crammed in this RV at the events and playing with the dogs. It was very intimate. We were having these beautiful conversations and it's like those dog fights, although they seemed like it was a catastrophe, uh, the fights weren't fight. It was just, it was over in seconds. It was scary because it was loud. It was Lily and Stella, but they, they inspired the solution, the idea to make these more intimate and let people in the RV. It was, uh, it was really cool. It, it ended up being really awesome. And let's not forget our first few events. You know, my first event ever, three people showed up. The second event, maybe five, seven people. And I think the last event I had, I don't know, 100, 200, 300, it just kept going up and up and up to the point where we couldn't, three hour lines outside the door, you know, people could only come in for a few minutes. It would, 
it was sad, but I would walk around. Again, we're, we're thinking of solutions for what to do in the future, but we never quit. We never quit. We had the saddest, worst days, but we never quit. We just kept finding solutions. Sometimes it felt like it was over, but I always knew it wasn't. I always, the big picture was always an animal sanctuary. I always used to tell Luke, I always used to tell my family, what, they would say, what, where is this going to lead to? What are you going to do? So were you going to travel on the road for the rest of your life? I said, no, I'm going to have an animal sanctuary, just like I promised I would when I was a kid. And we're going to teach people about compassion. We're going to show people what life can truly be like. What we're going to, I want to have kids camps and, and there's so, I could go on and on. There's so much that I want to do, but of course, rescue so many animals. I believe in the thousands. Um, but yeah. All right. Let me show you. Let me show you around a little bit. So